Yo, what's up, what's good, D-Squad? You doing how you feeling, man? It's boy, Deep back to with another bang reaction. Man, you already know the day is, man. The day is random Tuesday, number 64. Today we got speaker Mike Johnson. We are on the verge of World War III. World War III. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I, I have heard about this months ago. About how they were talking about starting up, starting back up the trade. I mean, the uh, draft. To be honest with you, I don't really know how to feel about it, man. It's just, it's all chaos. It's, it's all, it's all crazy. It's a lot to take in, and I don't know if I believe it or if I don't believe it. Nowadays in life, you don't know what you should believe or what you shouldn't. To tell you the truth, man. Um, I don't know what to expect in this video. I don't know what they're going to be saying. Um, but the headline it, itself is like gut-wrenching because it's like you know us and like us as humans that live on this planet would never even think about i would assume another world war happening anytime soon but like i said man there's a lot going on in this world dog and it's like bro you just never know bro it's like stuff happens man it's like stuff is coming out of nowhere people are are dying, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this is kind of it's kind of a little, you know what I'm saying, a little touchy subject because it's like is it's you don't know if it's true or not. But the the, the news talking about it alone is will get you worried. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man, about the draft or or World War period. But we're gonna hop into this video, man. We're gonna see what they talking about. I'm gonna leave the original video link description down below for those y'all wanna check it out on your own time. As always, like, comment, subscribe, join the Deep Squad. If you haven't already, we are on the road to 10K and we are very, very close. Just a few subscribers away from 10,000 subs. I appreciate everybody that's part of my subscribers and that's been, you know, watching me ever since I got started. So I appreciate the ones that actually been grinding, actually been watching me um, ever since I, you know, started this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And you don't understand how much it means to me. Um, Y'all are the reason, um, believe it or not, that I keep going with this every day you know because it, it does get challenging you know life be life and you know i could i could have stopped any moment but you know it's something in me that just loves doing this for y'all so with that being said man i'm gonna shut up go have to this bed man uh, former president trump vowing to put putin's invasion in ukraine uh to bed essentially if he wins in november he met with volodymyr Zelensky, the president of ukraine today at trump tower that was their first meeting since 2019 saying this to fox after the meeting i learned a lot but i think i haven't changed uh, from the standpoint that we both want to see this end and we both want to see a fair uh, deal made and it's got to be fair and i think that'll happen at the right time i think it's going to happen uh, the president wants it to end, and he wants it to end as quickly as possible. It should stop, and the president wants it to stop, and I'm sure President Putin wants it to stop, and that's a good combination. Joining me now exclusively, House Speaker Mike Johnson. Uh, Speaker Johnson, great, good to have you here. Um, you, you, let me, we're going to get... Look at his face, dog. Like... Back to Ukraine, but let, let me get your... Look at his face, though. Imagine watching the news... And looking at the headline topic that they're talking about, you see, and you see Buddy face. How the fuck are you going to be comfortable? <laughs> like, 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 how are you supposed to be calm? Or how are you supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Think it's all right. Like, if the reporter's face is, is a little, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? His face is like, hey, <laughs> shit get real, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shit get real. Like, there's it, really nothing we can do. <laughs> That's what his face is saying right now. Your reaction to this breaking news that is happening right now in the Middle East. This is a big day for news, and there's a common denominator in so much of what is happening today, what you're talking about on the airwaves, and that is Iran. It is through their proxies that they are engaging in all sorts of evil. Uh, are, they are in Israel, of course, and even here in the U.S. That's the, the headlines across the board. They must be dealt with appropriately. We need strength back in the White House, and that's the other common denominator here. The reason that Ukraine is in trouble, and Israel's in trouble, and Taiwan is in trouble, and all of our allies are nervous around the world is because because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have projected weakness on the world stage. Donald J. Trump will solve that problem, all these problems, and it can't happen soon enough. 
You know, the, the window that exists here and the Iranian infiltration into the Trump emails, they are clearly trying to have an influence on this campaign. And now you see all of this action that is happening in the Middle East and this meeting that's about to happen in uh, at the uh, Ayatollah Khomeini's home. We're waiting for Nasrallah confirmation. You know, this is a very hot situation. Do you think that President Biden can wrap his arms around this and, you know, make sense of it and in our national security interests? This is far above the head of Joe Biden, uh, unfortunately, and very, very trapped. I was just about to say, man, I hope nobody expect Biden to be able to do anything. Bro, him turning, him, him stepping down in the election said enough for me it was like you know he already getting older you know what i'm saying he you know act like he on drugs or something he acting like you know he's just not in it you know he, his energy ain't there no more so him stepping down was enough for me i was like yo it's nothing he could do obviously you know what i'm saying now kamala harris still is trying to get the presidential vote you know what i mean and it's like this is a this is beyond biden this point you know just like buddy said you know it's like this shit is like above anybody for real unless we get real power in the white house i don't see nothing stopping this shit but i don't know maybe y'all feel different maybe y'all know something that i don't know and that's y'all opportunity to speak up in the comments man i feel like some of y'all be scared to speak up in the comments and i'm like be trying to tell y'all like bro this is a platform this is a channel that you can be brutally honest i don't give a fuck you're not gonna hurt my feelings. You're not gonna ask the people that watch me, bro. You can watch. You can say anything, and I learn from y'all. Don't don't believe it or not. I learn from y'all comments. I be reading every comment. Don't think I'm gonna be reading y'all shit. I be seeing y'all shit, man. So y'all 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 speak up in the comments, man. If you want your voice to be heard, like anything I react to, you you speak your mind. Cause you never know, bro. Your comment might help somebody else in the world. Think about that, man. Tragically and dangerously for us, he is not capable of handling this level of crisis, and certainly Kamala Harris is not either. Imagine if Kamala Harris was the commander in chief at a dangerous moment like this. We're on the verge of World War III. This is the most dangerous time since World War II, mm -hmm. and you have to have steady hands of the wheel. You've got to have strength. Shit. You have to have a leader in the White House that our, our, our adversaries fear, and that's not what's happening right now. The reason we're in this situation is because of the way that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have handled this. We have got to get on top of it. I, look, I'm, I'm I'm grateful that the FBI and, and the Director of National Intelligence are making a move on the Iranians that were engaging in foreign interference in our election, but they've also tried to put a hit on President Trump. They, they, they've tried assassination plots. That let, no one's talking about that. Kamala Harris hasn't said a word about it. We have to take the threat seriously. Right, we have let, to act decisively. Uh, let me ask you uh, about this week and about Zelensky's visit to Washington. That's you have pretty, met with him twice in the past. Post. You did not meet with him this time. And then you sent him a letter saying... Bro, he looks terrified, bro. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> yo, I... Yo. I don't think I've ever seen no shit like this, bro. Because you know, as a reporter, bro, when you talk about something, you got to stay calm as possible, bro. You can't you can't be emotional. You can't do nothing. You can't show no emotion. But it's like this nigga face, dog. Like, it's like you can see, like, it all over his face. Like, he's scared as shit. <laughs> like, bro, it's like, what do you do, dog? Like, it's like, what do you do, bro? Somebody telling you the news. A reporter that's usually professional and has no specific face expression usually but like bruh it's like bruh this nigga face put, will put fear in a whole group of audience it's like it's like man this nigga scared bruh we, we should be scared <laughs> You know what I mean? That a stop that the U.S. ambassador, the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. made in Pennsylvania looked too much like a campaign event to you and that you want her to be removed. Oh, I'm sorry about the watermark or anything, but I hope y'all can still see what's going on. But I'll pay that shit. But not right now. You know, I, hey, bills be billing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll get to it. But, you know, for, for the people that complain about the watermark, hey, brother. You gonna have to work with me, dog. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, I appreciate y'all being patient, though. Um, you said he must remove her. So I guess my question is, or what? 
Well, listen, I don't have more time for meetings. We've, we've done enough of that, and I, I, my letter was very clear to President Zelensky. This was a major misstep. At a time when he needs the support of everyone in America, from all parties, he should not be showing up at a campaign event for Kamala Harris, which is effectively what that was. They flew him around on a taxpayer-funded jet to go to an event in Pennsylvania, one of the key swing states in the election, to appear with a panel of Democrats from the uh, nominee for the Senate, the, the incumbent there, to House races and the, and the governor who showed up, who right. almost was the vice presidential pick on the Harris ticket. It's unacceptable. He can't do that. I'm glad that he met with President Trump today, but he's got a lot more to do, and I think removing the ambassador is an important step to, All right, to so make a statement. I'm assuming that, that you haven't is, had any... This is a big mistake. Any, any uh, decision on that from them. We haven't heard any decision on that from them. But I, I guess what I'm asking is, does this signal any shift in your support for the Ukraine cause? Do you still stand by, because you've supported the um, all of the funding that has gone to Ukraine, and $8 billion more just went this week. Do you support that $8 billion more? for military aid to Ukraine? Well, the funding that Congress voted on months ago was important to prevent Russia from taking the capital city of Kiev and setting up on the border of Poland, which would have then required us to fulfill our NATO obligations and send our soldiers there to help defend a NATO ally. We couldn't do that. As I said very clearly, I would rather send bullets to Ukraine than, than boys, American soldiers. But this is now a, a different phase. And what President Trump said today is exactly right. None of this would have happened if he had been in the White House. And that's very clear. I think President Zelensky agrees with that and understands okay. it. And this cooperation is very important to make sure that evil doesn't prevail. All right. Do you, do you to, to hey, bro, this motherfucker spitting, dog. Like, it's like he, had, he got a lot to say about this shit, dog. Like, it's like she keep cutting him off and shit. This man got a lot to say. Like, I don't know, bro. If you ask me, this is pure emotion. Like, it's like, it's like fuck the cameras. He's, he's genuinely scared. You know what I'm saying? It's like... He like, bro, y'all need to lock in. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like, yo, shit is getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? She asking these questions, and he's saying it with all his heart. <laughs> like, that's, he's saying that shit from the core. You know, it ain't, he ain't giving you them simple-ass sentences. He's like, no, no, no. I need to tell y'all this. Y'all need to lock in, because shit about to get real. $58 billion that went this week, is that a no? That's not new money. That was already uh, money that Congress right allocated. On. When we get into the first quarter of next year, uh, we'll, we'll decide all that. But President Trump will be in the White House, and he'll be able to direct how, how all that's handled. Speaker Johnson, so much happening, and we really appreciate you weighing in. Thank you very much for coming today. Good to have you here. Hey, hey man. <laughs> Motherfucker won't play it, dog. He, he had a lot to say, bro. I ain't going to lie. That man had a lot to say. He ain't, he ain't bullshitting. He like he wants to see a change. He he wants this shit to blow over, and I'm sure he's seeing a lot behind the scenes. You know, he was just talking about how the soldier, how they we sent the soldiers over there. You know what I'm saying? Do they? And it's like, buddy, he locked in. He like, bro, the emotion on his face, you could tell, bro. <laughs> you know, I don't really think I gotta really speak on it very much. Y'all seen what I saw? You know, but hey. Shit getting crazy, dog. I don't know where we go from here, but hopefully, man, they they take care of this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit blow over, but you know, the way the world is is, is you know what I'm saying, worlding right now. You just you never know, dog. That being said, man, hey man, y'all just lock in. You know what I'm saying? I guess y'all watch the news. You know, vote. You know, watch the election. You know what I'm saying? Make your voice heard, man. You know. You never know. Maybe we gotta see what happens. That um. Anyway, y'all. Yeah, that was a lot. That concludes another video. Of Random Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all learned something. anything. Uh, same time next week. Any other uh, requests for the next Random Tuesday video? Just drop it in the comments, and I will choose a random comment. And whichever one I choose, that's gonna be the next video. So don't be afraid to do that. Um, don't be afraid to comment at all. You know, I say this all the time. You know, don't don't be afraid to comment, bro. Um. Other than that, man, I appreciate all y'all tuning in. I love y'all. Uh, y'all stay safe out here. Um, yeah, Thief is out.